Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss about the famous VLOOKUP function. Now, those who are not quite aware of VLOOKUP or have never worked with VLOOKUP, honestly speaking, this is going to change the way you deal with Excel. Okay. Now, what is VLOOKUP? VLOOKUP looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and returns a value in the same row from a column we specify. Now, this might sound a bit confusing. Don't worry. We'll get into details. We'll practice some problems and then it would be easy for you. Now, syntax wise, VLOOKUP looks something like this, where the lookup value is what to find. What are you going to look up? So, what to find comes in this argument, the lookup value. The table array is you're, you're finding something, but where to look for? You're looking for something. Where are you looking for? So, that is the table or a database from where you are looking for. The column index num is the place which column has the related data that you are looking for. Okay, so you would be looking for something or the other. Now you know where to look for that is the table and the column index number is the column specific column where you will get that data. And last but not the least we have the range lookup. Are we looking for an exact match or approximate match? Now uh, one important pointer. 99% of the time we would be looking for an exact match, right? But in some cases, there are cases where we would be looking for approximate match. Now, what are those cases? We would discuss in a separate video. Even those who are masters at VLOOKUP might not have faced a situation where they could be using an approximate match, right? So, we'll get to it in a separate video. For now, we would be using the exact match. Now, what is age lookup? Now, what VLOOKUP does is V for vertical, it, it searches for things in the first column vertically. Now, H lookup means horizontal lookup. It looks for a value in the top row of a table and returns a value in the same column from a row we specify. Syntax wise, it is very similar to VLOOKUP, where again, lookup value is what you are going to find. Table array is where to look for. Now, this is the only place where there is a difference. Now, in VLOOKUP, it was column index num. In HLOOKUP, you have got row index num, right? So, which row has the related data that we are looking for? And finally, we have a place wherein we have uh, this option where we are looking for an exact match or an approximate match. Now, enough of this presentation. Let's get into an example and see how this can be dealt with. Now, open in front of you, we have got this simple data. It says it's a quarterly sales data. It, it has a column header where there are different columns which gives details of a product, its name, product ID, name, category, what are the uh, quarterly sales unit and so on. Now, out here to the left, if you see, here there is a drop down wherein you can select the product ID. And upon selection of a product ID, particular product ID, I want to automatically populate the stock quantity and the supplier name for that particular product ID. Now, how do we do that, right? In this case, we would be using the VLOOKUP formula. Now, to start with, I'll click on cell number A17, where we are going to uh, input the VLOOKUP formula and get the stock quantity for that pro particular product ID. So, I'll say equals and I'll type V lookup. I'll open my bracket. Now, one important thing you must have noticed in Microsoft Excel and that is Excel guides you into every function, what to write, where to write so that you are not in a mess. Okay. Now, similarly, if you see out here, the first argument that it is asking for is the lookup value. What are we going to look for? What would, would be the anchor through which we would be finding the data? In our case, it would be the contents of cell number B15, which is the product ID. Okay. The next thing that it is asking for is the table array. Remember, we have just seen where to look for. So, we would be looking for in this table. So, we need to select the entire table. So, I will click on the top left corner of the table and I can either press my left mouse key and drag it or if your data is very long. Now, this is only a data worth 
टेन कॉलम्स टेन रोज में भी यू माइट बी हैविंग अ डेटा विच गोज थ्रू हंड्रेड्स ऑफ रोज मे बी थाउजेंड्स ऑफ रोज देन हाउ डू यू सिलेक्ट इट इट्स प्रैक्टिकली वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू क्लिक द माउस ड्रैग इट डाउन एंड देन ड्रैग इट टू द राइट द शॉर्टकट की इज क्लिक ऑन द टॉप टॉप लेफ्ट कॉर्नर ऑफ योर डेटा देन प्रेस कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एंड देन प्रेस योर डाउन एरो तो इट सिलेक्ट वर्टिकली एंड देन कीपिंग कंट्रोल एंड शिफ्ट की प्रेस्ड यू जस्ट नीड टू प्रेस द राइट एरो सो दैट इज हाउ यू सिलेक्ट द एंटायर टेबल राइट और द टेबल एरे नाउ द थर्ड आर्ग्यूमेंट दैट इट इज आस्किंग फॉर इज द कॉलम इंडेक्स नम विच इज द कॉलम नंबर वेर आई कैन फाइंड दिस डेटा सो आई एम लुकिंग फॉर स्टॉक क्वांटिटी विच कॉलम डू वी हैव द डेटा फॉर स्टॉक क्वांटिटी कॉलम ए बी सी डी ई so this is the column where we have the uh, stock quantity so this is the fifth column okay so we have got column index num and now the final uh, one that we need to enter is whether we want an approximate match or an or an exact match right so i'll go for an exact match i'll close my bracket and there you are just check for product id p004 whether the stock quantity is 300 there you go so for p004 the stock quantity is 4 uh, 300 now let's change the product id let's say p006 now p006 has a stock quantity of 75 automatically it has got changed to 75 now similarly we can input the supplier name you can repeat with me if you are working in an excel so it's equal v lookup open my bracket again the lookup value is uh, a uh, value in cell number b15 so i'll click on there comma which is my table this is my table this is my table array comma column index num a uh, supplier name where is my supplier name it is in the f column so 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is in the sixth column so it's 6 and finally we want an exact match so false i'll close the bracket and there you go so for product id p006 the stock quantity is 75 and the supplier name is speed stride limited right let's do a back check once again let's select product id p003 for p003 the uh, stock quantity is 80 and the supplier name is time tech in corporation so there you go so this is how you deal with v lookup now let's uh, work with h lookup though not that common as v lookup but in h lookup it works in a similar way but in place of vertical lookup we are using a horizontal lookup now whatever situation comes where you have a option to change the sales unit of different quarters and you want to find out how many unit have been sold of a particular product in our case let's say p007 is the product okay so how do you do that in that case you'll use h lookup formula equals h lookup open my back bracket now what is the lookup value we are we are having the lookup value as sales of quarter 1 right so this is the lookup value or the contents of cell a20 comma which is my, which is my table my table is the same table we have here so this is my table the third thing is the row index num now in which row does product id p007 reside can you tell me so it resides on row number 9 is it it's row number 9 9 and now we want an exact match so false i'll hit my enter key but notice this so for p007 on quarter sales for q1 is 700 units but check out here is it 700 units it's 480 units so somewhere we went wrong where did we go wrong let's check so if we double click on the cell where we have inputted the formula it gives you the formula or the function here if you closely notice we have mentioned the column or row index num as 9 right why 
because it is in the ninth row. But if you see carefully, the table that we are selecting is from A2. So, this is the table that we have selected. So, it is basically not in the ninth row. So, how do we calculate? The header will be row number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it would be the eighth row that we are looking for. Now, if you see, we have got a perfect result. It is 480. If you change this from Q1 units to Q3 units, it is 430. Let us see. Uh, for products 007, Q3 is 430. So, it is very important to know that the row or column that you mentioned pertains to the table array that you are selecting, not necessarily that is the row or column number of the sheet. So, this is a very important thing that you need to know while, while working on VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Maybe the, the data or the table that you are selecting has not started from cell number A1. Maybe it is somewhere in the middle. So, if you are uh, using a VLOOKUP formula, the row number or the column number pertains to that particular data or that particular table that you are using. Okay? Now, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP has two basic rules that you need to remember. Okay? So, what are they? So, the first key rule is the lookup value must be in the first column or row of the lookup table. right? So, for VLOOKUP, the lookup value has to be in the first column or the first row of the first column for VLOOKUP, first row for HLOOKUP. So, in our case, we could successfully use VLOOKUP because our lookup value was the product ID, which was in the first column. Had it been in the third column or anywhere to the right of whatever we are looking for, it would not have worked. So, this is a very important thing that you need to remember. Though we can overcome this by two separate using two separate functions, we will talk about that in a, in a different video. Now, the second rule that we have is if duplicate lookup values exist in the table array, Excel will stop in the first instance. Now, the example that we had worked with had unique product IDs. Okay? So, we did not have a problem. But if we had a table like this, wherein one single product ID appears in two different places. Now, the lookup values, not anywhere else there might, might be repetition. But if you if you are talking about the lookup value in our case, which was the product ID. For, for this example, we had product number P004 appearing in two different places. So, Excel will stop at the first instance and give you the result and will not look beyond that. So, these are the two important key rules that you need to remember. Okay? So, that was all about VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Hope you have learned from this. Thank you for watching and keep your eye on this channel for more such updates on Excel.